about conditions that conditions are conditions and we are the ones that make up the conditions okay and the one I wanted to talk about in particular is taking action doing the things that we desire to do now there's one condition that I used to struggle with a lot until I realized I was creating the conditions that prevented me from actually doing that which I desired and that's key to become aware of because the only real enemy in our reality is ourselves the beliefs that we hold about ourselves or about things uh, as Christ says the your enemies will be of your own household and he didn't talk about your like family members he was talking about he was talking about your spirit the spiritual entities your beliefs and your assumptions and your I am statements that live in, inside of you these are the things that will keep you entrapped so for example a lot of you guys struggle into doing something because you're waiting for everything in your reality to be perfect uh, because once everything is in place, then you can take action, right? You want maybe you graduated now, you want to move out of your home, and you say, "I'm not going to be able to, you know, start working out, eating good, making videos, or doing whatever you desire," because you're waiting for external things outside of you to become perfect, and then creates an environment for you actually to do something. But notice that all of those things that you're waiting to have for for it to happen, for you to start taking action is conditions that you believe in you don't need everything to be outside of you perfect okay meditate on this guys meditate on creating a new condition that says to you that things do not need to be perfect for things to be done not everything needs to be in place for me to do it condition yourself into that new condition that um I don't need to look perfect to go approach a girl. The uh, situation does not need to be perfect or flawless where I can go approach. It can be dirty. It could be the worst situation and it, you can still pull it off if you train your brain to believe in it. Believe that the conditions do not need to be perfect for something to happen. Perfect conditions do not exist, guys. The perfect condition right it is believing that things don't need to be perfect that is the perfect condition you need to notice that these things these like uh, emo feelings that hold you back from actually taking action okay is because these emotional feelings are like electromagnetic fields and you can't act outside of these electromagnetic fields the only way for you to act outside of your understanding Right? Because you only act according to your understanding. If you don't have the understanding, you can't really act out, out of your personality. Everything you do is programmed already. So the only way for you to reprogram your life is to go into the program, right? your feelings, and back, practically discern from there and tweak things. Notice like, okay, uh, if you want to start a business, you got to realize what things are keeping me away from actually doing it what steps are there and sit down go into go into the wilderness right go into spending time alone with yourself and your beliefs and your assumptions and sit down and think okay i'm waiting for this to be perfect i'm waiting for this to fall into place it doesn't you don't need it you don't need these kind of things you're just lying you're lying to yourself not to take action i remember i forgot who it was but it was like a, a very wealthy businessman and he was saying that if you guys, or just in general, he said if you guys had less less than 10 IQ, right, of wherever you are right now, you'd be more successful. It's because a lot of analytical people who analyze the situation a lot, they practically analyze and rationalize themselves from taking action. They look, by the time they sit down and look at the situation, they name more reasons why not to and the, all the potential risks quicker than all the potential up, upward things that can happen and benefits. So they practically analyze themselves out of actually taking action. So sometimes you don't, don't stop thinking and just do. 
Don't be yourself, in other words. So how do you do that? Is just take time and sit down and realize all these little assumptions and all these little rules and conditions that you set yourself up for, right? What are these conditions? Most of them are not real. Most of them are created by you. For example, like when I started becoming a little bit more social, right? It was because I was born and went through all of high school and college being uh, in terms of like uh, people I don't know of. I used to be very, very shy. I used to go through, I, in college, I used to go through days where uh, I didn't even say one word to anybody because I was just, I was, na I was just naturally just quiet. So for me, my reality was like when I go into a social setting or to an event or ceremony or wherever it was, for me, my reality was quietness. I expected quietness. This is the conditioned mind that I was in. But it was until I started stepping out of my comfort zone and beginning to see that, no, like, there are people with personalities where their expectation and their conditions and their reality is like, I walk into the room and I automatically open people up. Like, it's easy for me to talk to people. The only difference between me of what I was seven years ago to this is my belief about people, about myself. That's the only difference. I just changed my beliefs. I changed my beliefs that I know how to talk to people. And that's it. You just you change your beliefs to change your reality sure sometimes and that's why you say what you do is you believe and then take action get into a new mindset and take new action destroy false conditions that you created for yourself that are keeping you from doing what you desire it all starts uh in the realm of understanding of who you are don't uh try to to achieve to become but become first and then achieve I personally believe that is the fastest route is where in the state of meditation where you enter into a realm where you're looking at your fixed assumptions your I am statements and what you believe in right you look at those and you practically tweak them you tweak these things and you tweak your whole reality because everything revolves around your spine guys you are the uni verse like one verse you are the verse and that verse is the I am statement so what you hold true about yourself always manifests. You're never greater or less than the I am statement that lives inside of you. That I am statement controls everything that happens in your life. And if you can get connected to that I am statement, which is God, God in you, the God that Christ helped you reconcile yourself through, through his message. If you can get in contact with that I am statement, you can transform your world. And not just your world, other people's reality is because your perception and the way you talk to them, your tone, your subconscious communication to certain individuals will change as well. And therefore, you're allowing them to be transformed. Because when you are an actual light in the spiritual realm, when you come around people who are dwelling in darkness, not in terms of that they're evil people, but in terms of that they've been hurt and are confused or lost. OK, evil people don't relatively exists it's broken people that exist and as a light you can come and heal by just being in their presence because your light communicates to them on the subconscious and spiritual planes therefore when you become more vibration when you become a vibrational being you help a lot of other people to become more vibrant as well and people are attracted to you so it's not like when you're not chasing people anymore it's like people come to you and you enjoy it because you become the source of life in your reality. So sit down and really reflect on what you, what you hold to be true, what conditions are standing in your way, and come out of it. Just know that everything in your brain is you. It's an image of you. It's spiritual entities that you created in your brain. So if you can break those things down and create new entities, spiritual entities within you by giving seed and watering and allowing these new thoughts and ideas to give birth to you you change your whole you change your whole reality but as again guys uh if you have any concerns comments or compliments leave them in the comments and uh share the channel and i'll see you guys in another video take care